Hey everybody, Monster TV here, and today I'm going to show you the fastest way to get the Code Cruncher achievement for hacking 50 terminals in Fallout 76. What you're going to want to do is make your way to the East Regional Penitentiary right here on the map. You're going to spawn in around this location, or walk here if you can't teleport yet. Um, do keep in mind this area has a lot of super mutants that spawn continuously, usually around level 10 to 20, so you might want to bring a couple stim packs or a powerful weapon. Once you've made your way to the front, you're going to want to make your way to this little door here on the side. We'll just call this part one of the East Regional Penitentiary for those of you who do not have the key yet. On this side of the penitentiary, there are going to be three terminals, sometimes four. The fourth one didn't spawn for me in this instance, but I will show you the location at the very end of the video, just in case. In regards to this side of the penitentiary, there are a total of three terminals, one level zero, one level two, and one level three. The penitentiary key, two cap stashes. Once you're inside, you're going to want to head up these stairs, and we're going to go to the first terminal, go all the way down, take a left, go through the hole, continue into the second door, and this is the upstairs guard room stash, and you will see a level 2 terminal up there on the right hand side. Once you're done, you go out the door, head straight down, fall down past the rubble, continue on straight past all the super mutants that will probably be shooting at you at this point in time. Make your way into the main lobby, head upstairs to see the warden, which you will see in a moment. There's a small room behind the warden that has a dead person behind a desk, and laying right behind him on the floor is the penitentiary key, which you're going to need to access a couple of the terminals. Once you have collected the key, we're going to head right downstairs, and you'll see uh, I'll show you a level 3 terminal, and then I'll show you two locations for the cap stashes. jump down the hole right there is the level 3 terminal that connects you to the infirmary it's gonna take a left and then take an immediate right right through the door there's gonna be a cap stash that spawns right in that little um, little nook of that desk the second cap stash you're gonna make your way back down the way you came and there's gonna be a little hole underneath the staircase go through there and then there's telephone booths place I don't know what you would call it Then right in this office a cap stash will spawn on this desk right here but making our way back around, we're going to go to the very beginning where we first came in. With the penitentiary key, now we can access the last terminal in Part A. Then once you make your way back towards the main doors, you'll see the door, unlock it with a penitentiary key, and there's the level zero terminal. For the next part, moving on to the area B, we're gonna have to head back outside. So just head back into the dining room, take a left, and go out the double doors that are right in front of you. For the next part, we're gonna have to go through the courtyard. I recommend just ignoring the super mutants and running to the far end of it. it makes everything a lot faster. Once you've loaded in, just make your way across the courtyard to the other side of the penitentiary where you see a giant hole in the wall. Instead of going through the hole in the wall, take an immediate left and head straight into the door you see right there. Now that we're inside to the western part of the penitentiary, there are three terminals and a bonus straitjacket and prisoner collar if you're interested. First uh, terminal is going to be right here on the right in the guards room as shown. You're going to want to back out. Now we're going to show you where the straight jacket spawns and the prisoner collar. At the very end of the hallway, take it a right, go through the generator room. There's a little laundromat right here, and the straight jacket spawns uh, with the prisoner collar right here on top of these two dryers or washing machines, whatever you want to call them. If you don't want it, just keep going past this. We're going to head upstairs to the second terminal. There are going to be a lot of super mutants in this room, so do take into mind they are going to be annoying. Once you get to the middle way, you're going to make your way into the second story security room, and there is a level 2 terminal in that room. Afterwards, you're going to make your way to the middle hole, jump straight down. There's going to be another hole in the cell block right in front of you. Go through that, and you've made your way back into the 
the main area. You're going to make your way into the infirmary, and there's going to be the sixth terminal right there. Should be a uh, level zero. That way you can get into the first part of the penitentiary where we originally were. And by unlocking this terminal, it does not take away the other terminal on the other side of the next door. That one is still accessible, you'll see in a moment. Now I'm going to show you the possible seventh terminal location. It didn't spawn in for me, so I'm not sure if it's 100%, but I have had it spawn in once before for me. Um, so anyways, to the seventh possible terminal, you're going to want to head back into cell block A. And once you go through these doors, you're going to take an immediate left, not like I did, but I will. And then head towards the little security room that shows two terminals in it. One of these terminals has the possibility of being unlockable. This should bring you to six or seven terminals, two cap stashes, and some cosmetic items. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope this is helpful for you. If you'd like to see any more related videos, any other achievements, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.